my brother's name is Rick Arnold, who lives in Oklahoma of the United States. And to you, to him, to you, I want to say hello, dear brother. I want to say I'm sorry that I cannot be with you and your father, who's also my father. And this may be uh, improper to say, but you know, since since I'm I'm uh, your younger brother, since I'm the younger one, this might be improper to say, but I look up to you. No, I'm proud of you. That's what I'm gonna say. I'm proud of you. Uh, don't give up in what you do as a father and as a grandparent in a way. You're like a grandparent, not like legally. I mean, legally you are, but not not literally, not by blood. You know that blood matters more than anything. That's what Mr. Wolf would always say, Uncle Jim Williams. But um, <clears throat> so what I'm trying to say, more of the story is um, don't stop what you're doing. I think that everything you do is, I mean, not everything, I don't know everything you do, but some of the things you do, most of the things you do, it's probably pretty good. So Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah. I made a similar video for my mother. And I'm thinking about making videos about other people too, like other people in the family. But maybe I won't, maybe I will, I don't know. But I was inspired, really inspired to make a few videos, at least right now, you know, whenever I can. You know, I can always make excuses and say, you know, I'm busy, I can't do this, I can't do that, but I should try. Uh, to do things when I can. So I'm kind of like multitasking right now, you know, going somewhere to work or whatever you want to call it, TC English, and making a video at the same time. That's like a dream come true. I would say not a lot could be better than that. So uh, if you're a little, a little curious about Vietnam and you don't want to come to Vietnam yourself because it costs a lot of money to get here. Let me tell you a little bit about it. Well, it's kind of like America. And uh, right here, they're going to make a, they're going to make it like a highway here. Uh, because, you know, highways are better, I guess. It's like when you play SimCity and there's uh, there's traffic jams, you make the road wider. And when the, you make the road wider, you're basically making a uh, highway. That's what a highway is. So uh, right here, they're still they're still working on it, and it's kind of dirty, but it's okay. You can still walk on it. And uh, I should have recorded these other people. I stopped by some people, and they knew English. You know, like some people know English, and some people know a lot of English. And sometimes you don't really know if people know English or if people don't know English in Vietnam. I mean, I guess they are all they're all taught English, but then they don't really practice English so then they kind of forget it like you know you could forget Japanese have you forgot Japanese or I could forget some Spanish or Crystal our sister could forget some like I don't know French or is that what she study and uh they're making uh they're making a hotel uh, around here they're making a hotel so it's like you know uh things are getting better I guess in some ways at least you know, because of the companies from other countries that come in and they invest in Vietnam and uh, they start building. And in some ways that's better, even though, you know, there's still like poor people or, you know, there's like some people don't have as much money and that could be uh, a problem with the, the poverty, other things, or how much human rights you have. Because like, for example, um, like John Kerry, came to Vietnam like a few days ago and then people are like they come to me and they say oh hey did you know did you know that uh, Chin Chow. uh th they're like oh did you know John Kerry was here and <laughs> did you know John Kerry was here you know the people say people say to me oh did you know did you know John Kerry was there and I was like oh yeah and I was like oh okay and uh it's nice. I mean, it's. I mean, I don't know. I mean, he's not the best person in the world. But then again, who is? But uh, I don't know. 
it's just, I don't know, it's interesting when somebody says, I, you know, if you know somebody and, and you see somebody that you know from another life, then you're happy, you know, like, living in America is like a different life. Even though I say, you know, America and Vietnam is the same, but in another way, it's not the same. It just depends on how you look at it. So, in conclusion, I want to say to your brother, come to Vietnam. You're always welcome. I may not have a place for you to stay. Maybe you can sleep on my floor. That's about it. If you bring your family, you'll have to stay in a hotel and you're on your own. Good luck with that. It's usually what people say in other countries like Vietnam. You're on your own. That's, you know, ironically, that's what Obama says too. You're on your own. Kinda, I don't know why. Hello, xin chào. Hello. Bye.